Why is my truck leaning? Here's five reasons why your truck could be leaning. Welcome to Bending with Bending and our little pointer finger right here. We'll call him Bob. How about Bob? Bob the pointer. Today we're gonna to discuss five different reasons why a semi would lean, either one way or the other, okay? Forward or back. Too high in the back, too low in the back, whatever. So here's five reasons. Let's check them out. Reason number one, could be on jack stands and you have no front axle. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so you have several systems. You have tires, you have suspension, you have frame, and you have air. Those are the systems that could cause your truck to lean. Reason number five. Let's start with the air system. You have airbags. Some trucks have front airbags and rear airbags, but this one only has rear airbags. Now, your airbags are designed to pressure equalize, okay? Now, on an airbag, one of the ways that the airbag itself can cause a leaning problem because the equalizing pressure is if the pressure bleeds off in this bag. So if you have a dry rot like this and air is actually seeping out of the bag, it will not hold the correct pressure in this bag versus the bag on the other side. Now, some trucks have independent systems where the back of set and the front set are separated, okay, through a uh, valve itself, but they should equalize on both sides, side to side. Also, air lines, such as this one, could cause it. You could have a pinched air line or something worse, hole in the air line or something like that. Now the air system is one of the ways that could cause it to lean back too low in the back or too high in the back is with the leveling valve in your ride height, which is the distance the bag rides at in the height of the frame. Also on the air system, you have airbags under the cap. Now as you notice here, this airbag is not straight up and down. Neither is that one. Okay, the reason why this is because this truck is actually has a bent frame. Reason number four. Let's move on to axles. Axles being bent could be a problem, but if you've ever had any work done, this plate right here, this wedge uh, shim, is usually higher in the back than the front. So that way it tilts the axle and brings it up. Now, if these aren't installed properly on both sides, one side will be down further than the other. Reason number three. And you have the spring itself, okay? Now the spring, you have to look for patterns of rust patterns and things like that on the spring itself for cracks and stuff like that, which could cause the truck to lean or a deformation in the spring itself. One of the easiest ways to look at a truck and tell if the springs are the same is if the tail of the spring there and the tail of the spring there are at the same height. Generally, if you replace one spring, you should replace the one opposite of it on the other side. On your front sp springs right here, this is usually the weakest point. Reason number two. I don't have, well, there's two. Talk about one of the biggest reasons trucks lean most of the time, bushing. Spring bushings are one of the number one causes for a truck to lean. Okay, rear spring bushings, front spring bushings. There's a lot of several different types of bushings. This one has threaded bushing. These have press bushings. See there. Now threaded bushings like these don't wear as fast or as much they don't cause it to lean as bad. So the number one cause on the front with threaded bushings is usually the hanger itself. As this wears, it will wear into the hanger if gone unnoticed. Another thing could be cab bushings. Cab bushings can cause your truck to lean. Once this bushing wears out, the cab leans over and it looks like the whole truck is leaning. Now this isn't the correct type of cab bushing as uh, the 379s, which the 379 series uh, nine times out of ten, if you replace the cab bushings, it'll ride a whole lot smoother. Now, obviously, tires on the tires, having the correct size on both sides of the vehicle, front and rear on the back, make a difference. In all reality, if you have more than about a half inch of variation between one side of the truck to the other, you probably should get it checked out. Also, on Peterbilt's, the bush end bushings okay are one of the number one reasons why some of the old 379 peterbilts with the uh, low leaf and the air leaf and air track system those bushings usually will once they wear out they will go uh they will cause the truck to lean substantial reason number one and last but not least frame damage will cause your vehicle to lean but you can always assume it's frame damage as you can see here this truck is twisted this end is down this end is up and it's really bad. <laughs> you can't always assume it's frame damage though. 
There's a lot of stuff that needs to be inspected before a frame damage estimate needs to be even looked at, okay? So there's multiple types of frame damage. You have a side sway, you have a twist, you have a rolled rail, uh, a sway back. Most of these trucks usually uh, are involved in accidents. A lot of people ask me, what happened to the truck? Why is it like that? Well, they usually have an accident, either a jackknife or a rollover or something like that. And if usually the insurance company says, hey, we'll go ahead and fix it, bid the price out. If it's less than the value of the truck, then yeah, they'll go ahead and fix it. Now we do a lot of uh, rail replacement, okay? So rail replacement's a big thing too. It's what a lot of shops do. Nobody really straightens the frame. But if it's minor frame damage, there's no point not. Anyway, this is more of an informational uh, video about some of the things that can cause your truck to lean. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you made it this far, hey, thank you. Thanks all to my subscribers and everybody who's been watching. Till the next one.